All right, guys. So, a couple of things to think about. When you're out and about, be conscious of where you are. You want to make sure that you're comfortable, but not so comfortable that you you lose your awareness of what's going on around you. So, be mindful of where you are, what's going on. Um, if something happens, when you panic, oftentimes paralysis, paralysis sets in. You want to make sure that you stay calm. Stay calm. If indeed you are attacked, you want to make sure that you have the ability to get away, um, to, and as well to get the person away. So that calm piece again is very helpful in this, in that situation. Um, we just talked about some of our body's critical points: the elbows, the wrists, the meat of the body. Think about what those critical points are if somebody does attack you. If you are out and about and something happens, what is the word that people respond to if you're being attacked? Fire. Yes. <laughs> if it's not help, people will not respond. They don't want to be responsible. It's true. It, they don't want to. They don't want to attend if you say help. But if you say fire, everybody will we'll just swim on it. So make sure you get Car crash. Make sure you breathe. Calm. That helps you think as well. Um, be conscious of your body language. The more that you are confident within yourselves, the other people won't want to mess with you. So I gotta show this hip. We're not 15 seconds. So my, my friend Dennis. He and I went out, we got to a little disagreement, alcohol was involved, there was four of them, two of us, he put his hand in his pocket and turned sideways. My head was like, what the hell, get your hand out of your pocket, man. <laughs> so, long story short, in Louisiana, before they changed the laws, uh, you couldn't carry a pistol weapon. So he had a derringer, it was three pieces. He had a barrel, the trigger, and one bullet. And there was a screw. He was putting them together in his hand. So I'll tell you, make sure, because besides the derringer, Make sure you keep the body language up. So don't put your hands in your pocket. This is kind of a show of submission. Don't put your head down. It's not a submission. So watch your body language. See the rest of us for next week. Right. We're done. Thank you, gentle thank folks. You, thank you. Thank you. Well done. That was fun. Yeah, thank you.